here we go back again with another video and today's video I'm off for a run up to Durham Cathedral let's see if we can actually get in and get to the top and get a bit of footage from the top or is it closed we'll soon find out lovely run down there there's the cathedral and there's the castle when I've run up to the castle run up to the cathedral and possibly have a little bit of a chat about Sunderland let's take a shortcut tell you what it is I've never ever been up here before all the time I've lived down here but it does smell like I thought it would it smells like piss but we're going up this back alley up the back street heading up towards the cathedral and the castle but yes there is news today that Norwich are after Ross Stewart Ross Stewart who I do believe there's rumours also that he has Covid now that would just be Sunderland's luck for Ross Stewart to get Covid when we only have the one striker hopefully Broadhead's getting back at some point sooner rather than later let's have a look behind us up behind us steps there's the castle up there would it be possible to sneak into the castle or will I be chased away we'll soon find out so yes Ross Stewart wanted to buy Norwich doesn't surprise me the chances are in the summertime Norwich will be in the championship and that's kind of the level I think Ross Stewart can aim for next season now hopefully it's with Sunderland in the playoffs but we have to win seven out of seven you know we've got to get close to the seven out of seven the magnificent seven that's what it is it's the magnificent seven games coming up for me it's got to be every single game a win starting with Junior and one Saturday where are we heading now go down that way we can't go that way can we so we probably it would be good if I could go in there though wouldn't it but it's locked clearly it's locked right so we'll head off down this way this is just going to go back to Silver Street isn't it clearly it is we'll probably come out somewhere where the the library is probably the library is this a library is this a library but yes Ross Stewart scored 20 plus goals this season I think in all competitions so that's the reason why he's wanted and now he has been called up for an international break away with Scotland his profile is getting better and better so we have just came out by the library the library is just there so we're heading up the street now <clears throat> cathedral in the distance we'll try and sneak in the castle to the right first I don't know whether you can go straight in or whether you have to pay or whether you just kind of go in at all I'm not quite sure but we'll have a mosey on down unfortunately everywhere was closed because it's as you can see it's congratulations on the graduates it's graduation it must be graduation week but there you go there's the cathedral in the distance so you're not allowed in the castle to the 4th of april and i would have thought you're not allowed in the cathedral to the 4th of april so we'll just have to go back home and do a video from the old studio catch you in a bit so we'll head back now on my four mile run i'm feeling really good today even though i've stopped a few times oh what's happening here this discovery that is so unlucky but never mind it looks like you can afford to pay heading down towards Prebbins Bridge oh my thoughts exactly just fancy one of those <laughs> heading over the famous Prebbins Bridge and look there's some boats over there row 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 your boat let's see how many are in the, the river actually doing it today oh this is a quiet one is it a quiet one? Oh, it's very quiet today very quiet down here in Durham graduation week as the, as the security guards told me as they kicked me out the castle i'm only joking i did ask them first you know you know i may come across as uh, a a bit of a a bit of an idiot but you know i know the rules <laughs> heading down this road back to the car over the other side of durham graham sports center side as we would say but i'm going to run down this road i'm not sure where it goes at the end but we'll find out in a second So there's the gorgeous cathedral in the distance and it's coming out at the old church the old church here oh, up by the universities we'll have a wander around and we'll head back over back over the river again because the river meanders around the castle you know and it heads off down towards chesley street eventually which we'll do a video down chesley street at some point We'll head off up here 
around the back of the church then head off back to the car and of course for those who didn't know what church it was at St Aldwood's St Oswald's St Oswald's what did I say there St Oswald's churchyard wildlife meadow and somebody has been having a little drinky poo yeah. there you have it if you like old buildings this one is extremely old extremely old I'm trying to find my way back to the main road. I'm a little bit lost here. I'm just wandering around and wandering around a churchyard for no bizarre reason. I need to sort of find my way back to the main road. Then I'm continuing me run. I feel about 10 years younger today. I don't know what's going on. Then know what's going on. Here we got the main road again. Head off back to the main road. We'll leave that church in peace. And as if by magic, we're back at the car. And it's time to go back to the studio. Over to you, Jeff, in the studio. Thank you, Mad. Well, here we go back again with another video. And Sunderland are at home to Gillingham on Saturday, and I will be doing a preview to that game about Wednesday or Thursday. But today's video, one or two discussions going on at Sunderland and also the last seven games. And I'm going to call this the Magnificent Seven. Now, if you enjoyed that little bit of a, what do you call it, a little bit of a preview to the Durham down Durham, going to the Castle Cathedral. I will be doing a video on that at some point in the future over the summertime when the season has finished. But if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It will be much appreciated. So yes, please subscribe to the channel. Don't like the video. Do not like the video unless it's towards the end of the video and you actually enjoy the video. Because this video could potentially be an absolute load of garbage. So if you like the video, only like it if you're here at the end. If halfway through you've clicked off and you sod off. Hell, I don't mind. I understand each for the own marmite. You either like it or you don't. If you're towards the end of the video and you haven't fell asleep, then please give us a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. So, like we saw down in Durham, a nice pint of Carlin will be just, you know, just to quench the thirst a bit. Done me four mile to five mile run. And I feel quite good today. You know, you finish on a Friday and you feel sluggish on your run. On a Saturday, get up early in the morning, have the Carlisle game to go to. Went for a four mile run, Ugh, really dodgy. Sunday Achilles was quite sore, but today I'm full of beans and absolutely flying back on form. So Ross Stewart, will Ross Stewart be snapped up by a championship side? Yes, Ross Stewart, can he be snapped up by a championship side if we don't make the well, I was going to say playoffs, but we don't make it into the championship. We've got to get promoted this season, otherwise we'll be losing Ross Stewart. There's no way on in this earth will Ross Stewart be here at Sunderland next season if we don't make it to the championship. The playoffs is a must. That's why I've said the Magnificent Seven. Now, if for whatever reason Ross Stewart has getting COVID, that is a rumour. It's a rumour kicking the belt out there. Ross Stewart's got COVID and if Ross Stewart has COVID... Will he be available for the first game on Saturday? He's in Scotland. No, he's not. He's kicking about somewhere, but in the Scotland setup. The magnificent seven. We need to win all seven games. It won't be easy. It'll be absolutely terribly difficult. It will be. It, it'll be. It'll be like. It'll be about as hard as. As hard as me drinking this pint, but it's not. <laughs> But it'll be very difficult. Now, the first game of the Magnificent Seven Saturday at Gillingham. Now, teams like Gillingham potentially come and park the bus. Hooford Football, the old Stevie bloke in charge of, of Gillingham. But that is going to be a hard game. Like that bloke got a parking ticket. Speaking of parking the bus, but parking ticket. He got a parking ticket up, up, up by the castle. Why would you park up there unless you know you're going to get a parking ticket? So he clearly can afford the parking ticket. I told you this video would be shit. Right, so Gillingham. We need to beat Gillingham. I do think if it all goes to plan, we can get a win. I'm going to go for a 3-0 win against Gillingham to kick off that magnificent seven. Do you think we can win all seven games? And you might be laughing at me. You may be laughing at me because we need to do it. If we need to get playoffs, it's going to be very difficult. Other teams, we are now dropped out 
of the top six out of the top six Oxford United away that will be an absolute six point a massive game but I have a sneaky feeling we can get a one nil win away to Oxford <clears throat> now Oxford won't I say they pun any punches a bit like Will Smith hey anybody see Will Smith during the night of the Oscars I mean Chris Rock what an absolute twat he is. I mean, if you go, I, I can kind of, you know, poor Jaden Smith, she has alopecia, and, and Chris Rock got stuck at her about the G.I. Jane movie. And I, I thought that was way, 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 way out of line, completely out of line, not needed at all. You can tell jokes without bringing people's personal appearances into it. But if you go to a Chris Rock, and I can kind of understand, if you go to a Chris Rock concert or a Jimmy Carr concert, when you walk in that door to see them comedians, you know, if you're at the front, you're going to get the piss taken out of you. That's what comedians do, and you expect that. But poor Jaden's got the Oscars to support her husband, Will Smith, who hasn't really supported her a lot of the time, has he? Because, like, you know, allegedly, he has had a, allegedly, as rumours, he's had affairs. That's a, has he had affairs? I, I don't agree with that either, Will Smith. But she's gone there as, you know, great person she is to support her husband and there's no need for Chris Rock to come out and absolutely take the piss out of it but did he deserve a slap did Chris Rock deserve a slap because if you watch that closely when he takes the piss out of Will Smith's wife if you look at Will Smith he's absolutely laughing his back off this is Will Smith he's like <laughs> shit then he gets up and he gives Chris Rock a slap but then afterwards he apologises to, to, the, to the Oscars ceremony and everybody else out there, but not to Chris Rock. Did he deserve a slap? A lot of people said he did deserve a slap. A lot of people said Chris, maybe Will Smith should have gone afterwards and took the piss out of Chris Rock. It's a, it's a funny one. If, Chris, if Will Smith had heard Chris Rock and then got angry straight away and got on the stage and slapped them, I can kind of, I can kind of understand that, you know, defending his, the love of his life. But when you see Will Smith laughing his head off and then he's kind of looking across and he sees his wife's not happy and his wife... It's like after the Lord Mayor showing it. So, you know, for me, it's, it's like if it's in the street, you'd give someone a slap, wouldn't you? You would. But like in that situation, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's, it's a difficult situation. Chris Rock should have never, should have never, ever had taken the piss out of Jaden, never ever done that out of Jaden Smith. That was way, 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 you know, completely wrong of him. But there we go, anyway, I've digressed, I've digressed. But yeah, I mean, Chris Watt probably did deserve a bit of a slap, but I, I mean, I don't advocate violence and all that. But you know, sometimes if you say something, you've got to accept the consequences. Right, so we'll move on to Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury. Home against Shrewsbury are in good form. They are in really good form. The Shrews. But I think we've got enough in the tank to take this game. It won't be easy. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win. Plymouth Argyle, the Green Army, away. The, a couple of their players have got injured. So they've now got a depleted squad. It's probably going to be a good time to play Plymouth Argyle in a couple of weeks' time. But it won't be easy. All the way down there. South Coast. Ooh. But I'm going to go for a game. A 2-0 win. I think we can do the business. Cambridge at home. This will be a difficult one. Home games are quite difficult for Sunderland. The three home games there will be difficult. But I'm going to go again for a 2-1 win. Rotherham at home. Will Rotherham be promoted at this moment in time? Will they be promoted at this moment in time? I think they will be. So I'm going to go. Oh, I, do you know what it is? This is the one where we'll get a last minute winner to make it 3-2. Mark them away from home. By then, hopefully those 18 points will see us comfortably in the playoffs. I will go away to Markham. I will try and put on a show. And we'll win 2-1. So there we go. There we go. I, I'm going to go for 21 out of 21. Am I being a bit adventurous? Am I being a bit, uh, I don't know, positive? Do you think positive thinking? Isn't it positive thinking? But we have to get to the playoffs. If we don't get in the playoffs, we will lose players like like Ross, like Ross, 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 Ross Stewart, like Ross Stewart, and we'll lose players.
probably like Dan Neil, will go in the summer transfer window. So we need to get promoted. And if you haven't seen Michael Bowers over on his channel, his video of late of the ownership, the ownership of Sunderland, absolutely, pardon me French, I'm going to swear, fucking stinks. It does, it absolutely stinks. I completely agree with Michael Bowers on his about this woman whose son wanted to default on his... Go over to Michael Bowers. I'm not talking about it. Just pop over to Michael Bowers' video. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Watch the video. Michael Bowers, top bloke. Really clever. Subscribe to his channel. That would be much appreciated. He would like if you subscribe to his channel. Especially if you like that video. But also, I'd, again, I don't agree with the ticket office being closed all the time. The club shop being closed all the time. He did say... Michael says we've been run like a non-league side. Mind you, I've seen some non-league sides. I've been to Spennymoor and Spennymoor is run a lot better than Sunderland's been run. I went to Carlisle at the weekend. That was being run really well. So some of these clubs are run a lot better than Sunderland. Sunderland's ownership are letting the side down, are letting the fans down. The fans want the club shop to be open. The fans want more transparency when they go to the ticket office. They want they not they want to feel part of the community, part of the of the Sunderland club experience. But some people behind the scenes and the owners are letting the club down big time. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, now give us a thumbs up. Take care. God bless. Oh yeah, I caught my thumb this morning. I was getting my sofa delivered, and because it's a strange, it was a, it was a strange one. It was a strange one. I was getting my sofa delivered. And they got it in the dot. I get up the stairs, but get it down the stairs because only a small box the hallway. And I get it under, under the door and out. But I had my lampshade in the way. But the lampshade's been there since I moved in. I haven't bothered doing the staircase yet or even anything up on the hallway. So I got there. I was taking it down and just completely shattered in my hand. And I didn't know my own strength. Thought it was very, very poor. So there we go. I've got my fingers cut, but I've got my sitting room almost done. So happy days. Hope you enjoyed the video. There we go. There's 21 out of 21. We need to keep Ross Stewart. And any more things we want to talk about? <sighs> well, I don't think so. Don't forget Michael Bowers. The link down below in the description. Pop over, subscribe and watch the video. It talks a lot of sense. A lot more than me. <laughs> See you later.